So of course, everyone knows that the 2023 Belmont Stakes was the 50 year anniversary of this historic feat. But did you also know it was the 30th anniversary of this historic feat as well? And Kissin' Chris breaks well. A Cherokee run is there to the inside and he's away quickly. Bull and the Heather will be up close. Antrim Road is wide. Wild Gale is very wide. And Raglan Road and Sea Hero and Silver of Silver are all up close to the early pace. And Antrim Road clears the field and will be the pacemaker in this Belmont as they move into the first turn. As Cherokee Run claims the rail, second Bull in the Heather is up close to the pace. He's running in third. Wild Gale is also up close too. Raglan Road is in between horses, running fifth. Colonial Affair is sixth. And Jerry Bailey has a hard hold in the early going of Sea Hero. Silver of Silver is running four wide. He's about nine lengths from the lead. Then long shot on the Alpha. Kiss and Chris is saving ground. He's about ten lengths from the front runners now. Prairie Bayou is well behind. He has only two horses beaten. They are the French Colt. Aaron Thod and Virginia Rapids is the trailer in this Belmont Stakes. The quarter in 24 flat, the half in 48 and 4. It is easy and controlled, and there are seven furlongs left. Antrim Road is the leader. Sea Hero is making his move early now on the outside. And Cherokee Run, he's right there. He's staying close to this pace. And on the far outside, it's Silver of Silver. Wild Goyle surprisingly close to the pace. And Colonial Affair is still only six lengths from the lead. And then it's Raglan Road who's beginning to tail off. Bull in the Heather is being pushed along to stay within nine lengths of the front runners. And then it's only Alpha, Kiss and Chris with a big margin to make up. And then Aaron Thod and Virginia Rapids still well, well behind as the field now rounds the far turn. Cherokee Run and Antrim Road. And those two now are going stride for stride. And Cherokee Run forges to the lead as they round the far turn. Three furlongs out. A mile in 137 and two fifth seconds. And it is Cherokee Run, the leader by two lengths. Silver of Silver is there on the outside. And Colonial Affair is putting in his run now. Sea Hero has dropped well behind. Now as the field turns for home, it's Cherokee Run driving on the lead. Colonial Affair appears there on the outside. And Colonial Affair and Julie Crone riding for her life now as they come down toward the final furlong here in the Belmont. Wild Gale is there kissing Chris with a late run on the extreme outside. And they're coming down to the wire. And Colonial Affair, Julie Crone, the first woman to win the Belmont. She wins by two. Kissing Chris second and Wild Gale third. Yep, that's right. 30 years ago, Julie Crone made history as becoming the first female jockey to win the Belmont Stakes and in fact win any of the Triple Crown races. And it is a mark that really still stands. Uh, there has not been another female jockey that has won any of the Triple Crown races since Julie did it back on Colonial Affair in 1993. So while this year's Belmont Stakes Day was really uh, focused on the blue and white checkered silk of Secretariat and his historic run 50 years ago, it only seems kind of fitting that really it was more girl power that was on display throughout the day. It started in the grade one Ogden Phipps with the mare Clarier trying to complete a feat that would put her in elite Philly and mare racing company. Right out for the lead, quickly joined on the inside by search results. 
It has played hard with the lead. Search results runs in second. Big long shot game stonks is next in third. Secret Oath on the outside runs in fourth, followed by Pass the Champagne. And the early trailer will be the defending champion, Clarier. She is sixth, about eight lengths from the two front runners. And Game Stonks is coming on through now to take the lead from Played Hard. The opening quarter was run in 24 and one fifth seconds. Search results sits back in third, four and a half lengths from the lead. Then it's past the champagne down at the rail. Secret Oath is on the outside and Clarier continues to trail. Game Stonks leads here by two and a half lengths. Played hard in second by a length and a half with search results in third. Half mile, 48 and three-fifths seconds. Past the Champagne, Clarier and Secret Oath. Those three are all together at the back. Game Stonks is the leader. Played hard, now moving up. There goes Played Hard. She makes her move and takes the lead now. With search results on the outside in second, past the Champagne is on the move in third. Then Secret Oath and Clarier, three quarters in one, 13 and four. And they're at the quarter pole. And here is search results on the outside to take a narrow lead over Played Hard. Past the Champagne moves off the rail. Clarier is now coming on on the outside. It is search results and Played Hard. They are 1-2, moving for the 16th pole. Clarier on the outside continues to gain. Search results trying to hold off Clarier. Here comes Clarier. Search results right there. It's the courageous Clarier to win the Ogden Phipps in back-to-back -back years. Yes, in that classic come-from-behind style that just made all the fans hold their breath until she just got up at the wire, Clarier joined Elite Company, becoming only the fourth Philly or mayor in the history of this prestigious race to win two runnings. Well, it's usually more common to see this occur over in Europe and other countries. And it's always a huge and rare treat when we see a top-class filly or mare take on the boys in the top-graded races here in the U.S. And that's exactly what we had going on in the six-furlong grade one Jiper, where that marvelous turf sprinter, Caravelle, looked to once again beat the boys and defending champ, Casa Creed. Who's down at the hedge. On the outside is Casa Creed. Then we come back to Ice Truck a lot and big evasion and at the back of the pack are yes and yes thin white duke and on the inside is a front run the fed the quarter went in 22 seconds and it is nothing better with the lead with caravel right there on the outside arrest me red is in between horses surprise boss is on the extreme outside go bears go is in behind horses along with air force red and here she comes now caravel is up now to grab the lead and casa creed is now kicking in it's caravel in front casa creed surging on the outside late run here from big invasion it is Car Caravel trying to beat the boys again. Far outside, big invasion. Caravel has done it. She wins the Jiper by three parts of a length. Big invasion came on for second. Casa Creed was third. And the final time on the board, one minute, seven and four fifths. Yep, once again, as they hit the top of the stretch, that magnificent mare turned her tail to the rest of the field, said, catch me if you can, boys. And they couldn't in a scintillating performance that clearly cemented her as the top turf sprinter in the country of either sex. And so that brings us to the big race, the Beaumont Stakes, the test of the champion. On a day that looked back at some great historical performances and had some pretty amazing performances of itself earlier on the card, might one more historical event occur for the tens of thousands in attendance and the thousands more watching at home? The backers of Archangelo certainly hoped so, as they look to see his trainer, Jen Antonucci, become the first female trainer to win a Triple Crown race. And they're off in the 155th Belmont Stakes. National Treasure is right out for the lead. Hit Show came away well on the outside, and Forte is up close. Right alongside is Angel of Empire, who will be widest of all into the turn. Down at the rail is Tapachoos. So it is the Preakness winner, National Treasure, challenged here on the inside by Tapachoos, and they are right together. Then it's the trio of Archangelo, Forte, and Hit Show. On the outside is Angel of Empire. At the rail is Il Miracolo. 
Then comes Tapatrice, who has one horse beaten at this point, and that is Red Route 1, who trails the field. The opening quarter mile in 23 and 3 fifth seconds as the field moves for the back stretch. National Treasure leads here by three quarters of a length. Hit show on the outside. Tapachus down at the rail. They're right together, second and third. Angel of Empire in the clear on the outside and fourth. Forte is fifth, but just three lengths from the front. Archangelo is now moving up a spot. Then we come back to uh, Tapa Trice and Il Miracolo. Red Route 1 continues to trail in ninth. Opening half, 47 and three-fifth seconds. And they're midway up the Belmont backstretch with National Treasure still the leader here. National Treasure by a length. Tapachus is down at the rail. Hit show is in third. Two and a half lengths from the lead. Archangelo now looking to split horses from fourth. Then comes Angel of Empire. And Tapatrice now makes a big move on the extreme outside. Tapatrice and Angel of Empire, they're moving as a team, going after the front runner, National Treasure. So it is National Treasure, but right behind. Tapatrice, Angel of Empire, hit show, and Archangelo down at the rail. It's another three lengths. Back to Forte. The mile went in one, 37 and two. National Treasure challenged here on the inside by Archangelo, and the two of them are heads apart. Tapatrice on the outside in third. Angel of Empire being asked for more. Then comes hit show and Forte with Il Miracolo. The field is in the stretch in the Belmont Stakes, and Archangelo has now taken over. Archangelo is in front. National Treasure back running in second. Then hit show, Tapatrice, Forte, and Angel of Empire. It is Archangelo with the lead. Archangelo in front, trying to hold on for the final 50 yards, and it's Archangelo to win the test of the champion. It is Archangelo, and it is a monumental victory for trainer Jenna Antonucci. And Yes, the fairy tale on this Belmont Stakes Day was completed as Archangelo delivered a dominating performance in the Belmont Stakes, making his trainer, Jenna Antonucci, the first female trainer to ever win the Test of the Champion. And in fact, the first female trainer to ever win a Triple Crown race. And as the sun sets over the track they call Big Sandy on this Belmont Stakes Racing Festival 2023, just like those that were there 50 years ago to witness Secretariat's historic romp through the stretch. Just like those that were there 30 years ago to witness Julie Crone riding for her life in the Belmont stretch. Anyone who was in the stands or were watching on TV will surely remember the historical events of this racing day that brought girl power to the front at the track they affectionately refer to as the Grand Old Lady of American Racing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.